Hey guys this is Ganchium welcome to WTN Celebrity subscribe our channel for more updates. What do you say to a man who had an impact on a city, a school, a program, thousands of fans and 100s of players through decades of success and a national championship? You say thank you, thank you, thank you, Lute Olson. 589 thank yous for the number of wins he had at Arizona. The man with the regal and towering presence will be missed. He turned McHale Center into mayhem for opponents, rarely did he lose in McHale. Tucson became a basketball town. His impact on and off the court is immeasurable, especially to a Tucson community that loved him for nearly 40 years. He turned the University of Arizona into a blue blood basketball program. He was named to the Naismith Hall of Fame in 2002. He was an icon said Cedric Dempsey, the man who brought him to Tucson in 1983, in hopes Olsen would work the same magic in Tucson as he did in Iowa City. He brought credibility to the program. He was the best basketball coach in the conference for years. His success helped us get other coaches as well. Robert Luther Olson the man everyone knew as Lute passed away Thursday night after a lengthy illness. He was 85 years old, just one month shy of his 86th birthday. I've been preparing myself for this for some time, but I'm not prepared said Pete Williams, often called the cornerstone to the program that Loot built at Arizona. All I can say is that I am who I am because of him. He is my rock, my go-to when things are tough, and my vow has always and will continue to be to make him proud, and I do that by living my life the right way, and treating people the way I expect to be treated. I love him like you couldn't believe. Craig McMillan, Steve Lavin, Lute Olson and Matt Muehlbach, photo courtesy Steve Lavin, as many players have through the years of blood, sweat and tears. And there will are plenty of tears from many as news broke earlier this week that he was in failing health. In fact, he had been ill for some time, taking his fight into overtime maybe double overtime after suffering a stroke in 2019. He had been a fixture at UA basketball games throughout his retirement but stopped going to games after that stroke in early 2019. I lost my coach, father figure, and mentor former UA All-American Damon Studemeyer said on Thursday night. This is a hard pill to swallow. Steve Kerr, one of Arizona's favorite sons and former UA greats, tweeted. It's hard to put into words how much Lute Olson meant to me. He was an amazing coach and a wonderful man. Being part of the U of A basketball family changed my life forever. I will never forget Coach O, those awesome nights at McHale Center and all my teammates. Thank you, Coach, I love you. Kerr's teammate, Tom Tolbert, and one of the players who brought funny onks to Olsen in the mid-1980s, said, Lute was someone who taught me responsibility and accountability. As much as we butted heads, I realized he made me not only a better player but a better person. I actually think he found the me hiding in the fountain story funny I love him and will always be grateful for my time playing for him. Bear down, always. Corey Williams who played for Lute in the 1990s and helped UA get to the 1994 Final Four, said Lute was the most genuine person I have ever met. I can't begin to imagine what my life would be without his impact. From being my coach to being my mentor and friend, he showed me that his guidance and love went far beyond basketball and it lasted a life.